Here we see a really simple chart which represents the relationship between the abundance of micro spots, which is here on the left, and the variability of depth and features in an area. As you can see down at the bottom here on the left axis we have zero. In some places there really aren't micro spots and in some places there are a high number. It's, all, it's hard to put a, a, a specific number on that because it would depend on the size of the area and lots of other things. But the truth is that micro spot abundance is proportional to the variability of features. In other words, the more variability in depth in the water in the area and also the types of cover elements and structure elements on the bottom meaning the variety of the actual face of the bottom the higher that goes the more micro spots you're likely to find in an area so let's look at examples of that looking at images on Google Earth this image right here of this giant sand flat in the meadows would be an example to a spot of a spot with basically no micro spots, at least in these central regions of it. So the only way to really catch a fish there would be to see signs of a fish. In this shallow water, you might actually certainly be able to see the fish themselves, particularly since they would be moving against this backdrop of this bright sand. The area out here in the middle of Bathland would be another area where you just basically are not going to be able to find any micro spots. Not too many people fish out there because it's all so hard to read the signs. About the only thing you would have out there most of the time would be slicks popping, maybe bird activity. On, on much more rare occasions you might see surface activity indicating feeding fish. But when you get to an area like this, uh, the north shoreline, the whole cathead rock formation, if you just take a chunk of this, there is a much higher degree of variability. There's deeper water out here close by, there's shallow water on top of the sandbar, there's rocks, there's sand, there's grass, there's mud. So the amount of micro spots in an area like this becomes vast compared to what you would find in an area with homogeneous depth and one type of cover on, on the bottom or maybe no cover at all, maybe just sand or just mud.